Hello from your friends here at Eon Software. In this showcase tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to create a crop circle farm scene in Max using View Extreme. It will showcase several key features of View, including bitmap driven ecosystems, custom plant creation, and material painting. To begin with, we load in our Max Farm model. Then we are going to create two terrains a foreground and a background terrain bisected by a road. To do this, we create and size our first terrain and then duplicate it to create the second terrain. Now we add a road by using a cube primitive and placing it between the two terrains. Now let's apply some materials. For the two terrains, we apply a rock and a grass material from the View Material Library and do a quick test render. Now let's add the crop vegetation to the scene. In this case, we're going to create a dried up cornfield by creating a custom corn plant for the tall corn and then later creating a flattened corn plant to cover the areas of our crop circles. We are going to start with the View Papyrus plant and then edit it to look like dried up corn in the View Plant Editor. First, let's modify the plant stock material and give it a more dried up yellow appearance. We do this by editing the color gradient assigned to the plant stock. Now let's adjust the plant leaf material by using a procedurally driven color function inside the View Material Function Editor. This would change the color of each leaf slightly according to the position of each cornstalk object, giving us a nice hue gradient across the field. We can adjust the basic shape of the plant in the View Plant Editor to make it look more like tall corn by playing with the various parameters such as length, diameter, and droop. Let's do a quick render of our new corn object and then save it as a new plant. Using our newly created corn plant, let's create a flattened version by adjusting the plant parameters and then saving it out as a new plant. Now for the fun part. Using our new corn objects, let's create the corn field. We select the first foreground terrain and then create an ecosystem layer using our tall corn plant. We set the ecosystem to use aligned instances to create a corn row effect and then we will add a bit of color variation to the entire ecosystem. Not too bad, but we need to create a clearing in the field for the area around the farmhouse. We can do this quite easily by creating a hidden cube which will serve as the farmhouse boundary and then adjusting the ecosystem by telling it to decay near the objects. This will create our clearing. Looks pretty good. Now let's create the crop circle clearing by using a bitmap to drive the actual location of the corn in the field. So we go back into our ecosystem and then load in a Photoshop bitmap pattern into the ecosystem density function. The black areas of the bitmap indicate where the clearing occurs. Now let's fill in the clear areas of the cornfield with an eco of flattened corn. To do this, we just add an ecosystem material layer to the cornfield and drive the population with the inverted density map. Let's add some grass to the area around the farmhouse by using the terrain editor to paint the grass material area. In view, you can paint an unlimited number of material layers on any terrain. In this case, we are going to paint a section just around the farmhouse and use the painted alpha as a mass to drive the grass ecosystem. Now let's adjust and resize some of the farm objects to get better looking proportions. View Extreme uses the native max manipulators for all scaling and resizing operations, so this is very easy to do. Okay, we're finished. For more information, please visit our website at eonsoftware.com or visit the forums and galleries at cornucopia3d.com. Thanks for watching.